Interesting facts about famous people. Interesting facts about Ken Toby. Kenneth Jesse Toby, 1917 to 2002, was an actor who performed in hundreds of productions during a career that spanned more than five decades, including his role as the star of the 1957 to 1960 Desilu Productions TV series Whirly Birds. Here are some interesting facts about Ken Toby. Toby appeared in the 1952 episode Counterfeit Plates on the series Biff Baker USA, an espionage drama starring Alan Hale Jr., playing a plainclothes policeman in the 1953 episode of the anthology series Schlitz Playhouse of the stars starring Angela Lansbury and Morris Ancrum, including a lengthy fistfight between Toby's and Ancrum's characters. He was cast in the 1954 to 55 legal drama The Public Defender, starring Reed Hadley. He guest starred in three episodes of the Western anthology series Frontier. His Frontier roles were as Wade Tripe in In Nebraska, 1955, and then as Gabe Sharp in Out from Texas and The Hostage, 1956. In 1955, he also portrayed legendary frontiersman Jim Bowie on Davy Crockett, with Fess Parker in the title role. After Bowie's death in the series at the Battle of the Alamo, Toby played a second character, Jocko. In the two final episodes of Davy Crockett. In 1957, he appeared in the series Crossroads in the role of Mr. Alston in the episode Call for Help, and as Jim Callahan in Bandit Chief in the Western series The Sheriff of Cochise. Also that year, Toby starred in the television series Whirly Birds, a successful and then syndicated adventure. In it, he played the co-owner of a helicopter charter service along with Craig Hill. Whirly Birds was a major hit in the United States and abroad, with 111 episodes filmed in 1960. It stayed in syndication worldwide for many years. Toby also appeared in 1958 as John Wallace in the episode Fifty Dollars for a Dead Man in the Western series Jefferson Drum. In 1960, he guest starred in the episode West of Boston of another Western series Overland Trail with William Bendix and Doug McClure. Also in 1960, he appeared as Colonel Lake on Death Valley Days and on the Western The Rebel with Nick Adams. Toby made three guest appearances on Perry Mason, twice in 1960 and once in 1962, as Jack Alvin, a deputy district attorney. In the Western series Gunsmoke, he portrayed a cruel, knife-wielding buffalo hunter in the 1960 episode titled The Worm. Toby in 1962 also guest starred on another Western series Lawman. Playing the character Duncan Clooney, an engineer who seeks to move a shipment of nitroglycerin through Laramie, Wyoming, when the town is evacuated to allow passage of the explosives, two of Clooney's employees decide they will take advantage of the situation to rob the bank. He also guest starred on Jack Lord's 1962 to 63 adventure series about a rodeo circuit rider, Stony Burke. In 1967, he performed on the series Lassie in the episode Lure of the Wild. Playing a retired forest ranger who tames a local coyote, he also appeared as a slave owner named Taggart in The Wolfman in 1967, episode of Daniel Boone, starring Fess Parker. A few of the many other series in which Toby later performed include Adam 12, 1969, SWAT, 1975, as a desk sergeant who disapproves of Officer Luger's disheveled looks, Gibbsville, 1976, MV Clicker Tat, 1978. Emergency, 1975, and Night Court, 1985. <laughs> A semi-regular on the drama series *I Spy* as the field boss of agents Robinson and Scott, played by Robert Culp and Bill Cosby. Toby also portrayed a ship's captain on *The Rockford Files*, starring James Garner in an episode titled *There's One in Every Port*. Toby portrayed a sheriff in 1957's *The Vampire*. That year, he also served as a feature supporting character with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara, the co-stars of John Ford's *The Wings of Eagles*. Toby portrays a highly competitive United States Army Air Service officer. In one memorable scene, 
he has the distinction of showing a piece of cake in John Wayne's face, whose character is a rival United States Navy aviation officer. Not surprisingly, a brawl ensues. Toby's work over the next several decades was increasingly involved in television productions. He did continue to perform in some feature films, such as Stark Fear, Marlowe starring James Garner as Raymond Chandler's detective, Philip Marlowe, Billy Jack starring Tom Lawlan, Walking Tall starring Joe Don Baker, The Howling, the war movie MacArthur portraying Admiral Bull Halsey, Aeroplane, Gremlins, Big Top Pee Wee starring Paul Rubens, and Gremlins 2, The New Batch. Thank you to LaShonda Felton, 83, for requesting Ken Toby as a subject. I appreciate requests. Thank you for your time today. I hope you liked the video. Please leave me your comments. I do appreciate likes, shares, and subscribers. It helps me a lot. Bye for now.